Welcome back. I, this is like a part two from my last video, which introduced you to the attachment control. What I'd like to do in this video is go over all of the properties that we have on the attachment control today, in addition to the ones I've already shown you, which I will review. And that way you can start testing out these different options in your own environments and checking out the possibilities. I expect that over time we will continue to add things based on your feedback. So please uh, start using it and give us feedback in the ideas forum. All right. So I'm loading back my custom form that I made in the last video. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below. That uh, form build took all of two minutes at the most. And basically all it was intended to do was to include the attachment control. So now I've got that same form here ready. And now I want to walk through some of the properties. Now I've opened up a form that has nothing attached. And so for the, the thir first thing that you notice is that it says there's nothing attached. So you may want to go ahead and select the control. So I'll just go ahead and select the attachment control. It's really easy to spot in the object browser or in the screen explorer because it has a little um, paper clip icon, which we're used to seeing in Outlook and other places when we're thinking about attachments. So you can spot it no matter what it's called. I have renamed it attachment control. I think it was data card value 20 something. But I rename things sometimes just so I can find them in my formulas because you know what a crazy formula geek I am. So now I'm going to go up here and select um, the properties for these attachments. And you'll notice that we have max attachments, which you've seen in the last video, and match attachment size. Now they are right here handy, and I actually consider them the two most important properties when you're managing attachments, because they help to control any impacts to performance that you might get from heavy attachments. The max attachment says how many attachments they can have for each list item. And the maximum attachments, if you hover over that, it'll finish filling it out, Mat maximum attachment size in megabytes. So I've typed seven there. So uh, that's seven megabytes. So in essence, if they were to attach three files of seven megabytes, I would have a maximum of 21 megabytes and a maximum of three files on this list item. So you can imagine that this is important. So start playing around with that and we'll, we'll find out if you want more. Um, also, if we um, go up to this uh, drop down, so I'm actually looking, I have the attachments control selected still, and I'm going to go into the property drop down. You'll see there are others that aren't as quite as visible on the right. You can choose the maximum attachment color, the max attachment text, and the one I want to show you right now is the no attachments text. So that one says exactly what you see on the screen right now, but I could change it to anything I'd like. Like, um, nothing has been added. So I can say whatever I'd like to say here. Now it says that whenever there are no attachments, okay? I can also choose to change maybe the language or use my Microsoft Translator to translate. There is nothing attached for me. Any of that stuff is possible. Um, I'm just going to put the word empty there and run it and you'll see that wherever I type there, it's not, it's not judging me in any way. It will do what I say. And that can be very helpful in certain requirements. And in some cases you might not want to say anything at all and that's fine too. Okay. So I'm going to put it back to there are no attachments, right? Now I'm going to go back into the properties for that control. And I'm going to show you that we have a no attachments color because right now the color of this is kind of like a sort of a grayish something or other. I can change that. I can make that more obvious. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go back to that property and change this to red. And now it's much more obvious that there are no attachments. Okay. So, I don't know how obvious you need that to be. If there's nothing there, there's probably nothing there, but just gives you more options. And again, when it comes to business requirements, we, s we tend to like options in this area, okay? Um, you can also have max ac attachments, color, size, and, and max attachment size, and I'm sorry, match attachments, color, and match attachments, text. So this is what happens when I attach too many. So 
If I attach a file here, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take my birthday cakes and then I'm going to take my attachments and then I'm going to take my so I said I could ha only have three, remember? PowerPoint slides. Okay? Now, notice it says max number files reached. That's the text we're talking about in that property. So I'm going to select this again, and you know that right here it says match attack max attachments text. Right? I can change this. Right? Um, so I can change this to only three attachments are allowed on our policy. I actually like what we said originally better, but again, I'm just demonstrating. Uh, and now that's what it'll say when it gets to three. So again, I'll go ahead and take one away. Notice that this came back, right? And then I'll go and I'll add another attachment. So I'll just go ahead and add this little text file, all right? And then we'll see exactly what I typed, all right? Now, I can go a little step further with that. I can choose a color for that, right? So you for both max attachments and max and no attachments, you have the ability to put in color. So we already did the no attachments color. And I bet you've noticed this already, but when you change something, it turns bold in this property dropdown. So we've already changed the no attachments color. Let's go ahead and change the max attachments color. And let's be creative and make that even different, right? Hey, let's make it blue just for fun. We're just having fun, right? And now you'll see that that is the color. So if I delete one of these and add another file, notice the attach file comes back. The maximum message goes away. I can go ahead and add another file. Definitely don't want to add any MP4s or any huge files because that would definitely affect performance, right? We don't want to have super huge file attachments. That would be a bad practice. And that's why these features are included, so that you um, help your users. I'm going to use this little PowerPoint file. You help your users to not um, tank their performance on SharePoint or in Power Apps. And again, you see that it's now blue, all right? So I just wanted to walk through those for you because I think they're so awesome and helpful that I'm going to actually use them a lot, and I hope you will too. So I hope you've enjoyed these two videos, and I hope you're checking out our new attachment control features. Enjoy it, and let us know if you need anything else.